Alright, so right now, this is just a test video. <coughs> uh, servers on Final Fantasy XIV were down, so I decided to uh, fuck around with this, see if I can't get it to where I uh, have uh, TeamSpeak and my mic working at the same time for uh, Audacity. I got it to work, but it's being, frankly, a bitch. Anyway, so right now I'm recording this on my PS4. Uh, this is after commentary. So, let me turn down the volume really quick, so that way I don't get double audio. Cool. Alright. So, um... What to talk about for 20 minutes? Well, turns out it's a real bitch to uh, have uh, two forms of recording devices go off at the same time on Audacity. And I tried having two Audacities open at once, and that's not going to work. Because as soon as you set the uh, recording device for uh, the first Audacity, it instantly switches the second one. So say I have my uh, recording device that's set to record the sounds for my computer, like, you know, music going off, the sounds of the video, etc. Uh, it'll change the second one to the exact same settings, so you can't have two different settings. And right there, that was just a bit of a glitch. Um, my, uh, seems that my, uh, stream had fucked up and I didn't notice. But whatever. Uh, no biggie. Promised you a video. <laughs> Promised you guys a video. Anyways, um, sorry about that. <coughs> sorry, kind of dealing with a bit of a cold. Anyways, um... So I decided since the Final Fantasy servers were down, I'd uh, do a quick uh, video on uh, Don't Starve. Uh, this is... Ignore the text on the right, I was just telling some people who showed up that, uh, what I was doing, so probably should have just gotten rid of that, but whatever. <coughs> so this is from, this video is from start to death. Um, well, this video isn't what I did was. Poop. Anyways. Uh, yeah, this is the first ten minutes of my current life. Uh, this life lasted, like, thirty minutes because I went up against a giant Trent and got bashed in the skull. Those things hit hard. Anyways. So, uh, just gathering right now. Um, so I'm going to be having uh, still a little bit of trouble with the TeamSpeak stuff and everything, but I figured out how to get it to where, uh, so long as I can pull the video, which I learned how to do that from YouTube, I can record audio from TeamSpeak and from my mic, put them together, and then uh, put the video and the audio together upload it to YouTube. It's a bit of to doing, but basically how it goes is this. Uh, there's this thing on your computer. Give me a second to look it up. It's called Stereo Mix. Uh, basically what you do is you go to your uh, speaker volume, right click it, recording devices, and then you're going to want to right click over an open space in the box and make sure you click show disabled devices and disconnected devices. It shows Stereo Mix, and what you want to do is right-click that and enable it. That will allow uh, your computer to pick up uh, sounds that your computer already is doing, but it picks it up in a way that uh, Audacity can record, because Audacity only records one, uh, like, mic or stuff like that. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. So what you do is, is that when you open Audacity, you have MME sounds, which is going to be your uh, headset or your computer speakers, and then to the right of that is the microphone and that. For me, it says Turtle Beaches right now because I'm doing an after commentary and I don't need the sounds from my computer. I will click that and it will show three devices. The first one I basically ignore because it's... Basically what that is, I believe it's just a, like, placeholder for, uh, integrated mics in your computer. 
which I do not have, but it has software for. Don't quote me on that. Second one is uh, the um, ugh, the stereo mix. Sorry, I forgot the name for a second. And then the third one is my Turtle Beach headset, my mic. And that, that's how I record. I use the uh, mix to record the sounds that my computer makes onto Audacity. And I use my mic on uh, on top of that, but uh, basically I make it to where my mic can be heard through the computer itself by going to recording devices on the volume mixer, going to my turtle beaches, right-clicking, properties, the listen tab, and then you click listen to this device and press OK. And basically what that does is that it, uh, it makes it to where you have your... Uh, mic sounds, what you say in your mic, come out through your speakers. Uh, but you have, but for it to come out of your, sp for some reason, for me, I can't get it to pick up only the stuff in my uh, headset, so I have to make it go through my computer. Don't ask me why it's working that way, I do not know. So I have to go to playback devices and make sure that my uh, speakers for my computer are the only things that are active. Turn off the speakers for my headset. That way all the audio picks up on that. I'll turn my volume all the way down unless I'm on TeamSpeak. And then, uh, since I have my mic turned on listen, everything I say in my mic comes out through my, uh, head, through my, uh, speakers. And basically what I have to do at that point is, is that I have to pull away from the computer or turn the volume ridiculously low, so that way everything that I say doesn't come back, right back into the mic and create reverberations. So that's basically how I did it. Then uh, for the video side of things, I uh, have to upload a facade video to, to YouTube. Like uh, what I do is I'll either I'll upload the video with my uh, live stream account. Uh, it's literally livestream.com, or I'll do a stream on Twitch. Which on Twitch I have everything set to archive as soon as I'm done recording. So then I will go into that archive. Uh, upload that video to YouTube, go to the YouTube video, click on it, make it to where uh, you're like watching it on YouTube, and I have it on uh, private from my view only because it's not a finished video, it doesn't have my audio in it. So then, after that, I will click right in between the period after www, click right before the YouTube, highlight everything to the left, and then type in SS enter. And what it does is it opens up a website that offers to a, that offers you to uh, pull your video from uh, YouTube and download it. And then I work from there using Windows Live Movie Maker. I know, kind of a crappy setup, but it works for me, so it's better than nothing. Anyway, while the video here is coming to an end, I'd like to say thank you guys for watching, and if you made it this far, uh, make a comment about bananas. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you all later.